everybody, good morning. Welcome to another Blalo Sundays this morning. It is so awesome to be here. Wait, you might be thinking, hang on, something's different. Something's changed. What is it? Has has Carl done something different with his hair? Has he has he got a different shirt on? What is going on? Has he has he had some reconstructive surgery or something? No, I'm in a completely different place. I am back in the Blello studio, hanging out here. Look how awesome this is. It's so good to be back. I have shifted. We have shifted out of our houses. Well, not all of us. I've shifted out of my house. And we are back in the studio with a lot of health and safety going on and a lot of things keeping us safe and working well. So it is awesome to have you here, especially on such a special day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and all those people that we look to as mothers that are there to support us and help us out. So a special Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to my mum as well, especially, because I get to do that. I can say Happy Mother's Day to my mum live on camera. But we're live right now in the Bolo studio. How awesome awesome is that things are different but wait there is something else that is very cool about this morning something that is very different well they're not that different well they can be different sometimes but it's different about what you normally see on our show here and this is have a, check this out check out check this out over across the studio way away nice as social distancing going on not close together. We have, let's go check in. Who do we have? Who do we have here with me in the same room right now? I'm excited. Hi. Hey. Hey, hey, hey Kyle. I'm here. Hey, it's Stu. me. It's me, Stu. I'm here. Hey, um, if you, can you just wave again? I'm just trying to spot just, you. There, yeah, there I'm you are. Here. There you are. I'm You're here. so far away keeping safe distances that I have to get the binoculars out. But I'm here. And one of the things I've missed so much about being live with you guys is the ability to shout out, is the ability to see the chat. And now, of course it's Mother's Day. I have to do a big shout out to my mum. I know you love watching Blello Sundays, mum. So happy Mother's Day to you. But not just to you, mum. I also want to wish all those amazing women in my life, my aunties, my nanas, my people that you know who you are. I want to wish you an amazing happy Mother's Day too. Now, that's the my first question for our chat. The chat is up and running. I can see so many comments already coming in. My first question for you guys on the chat is what did you do special for Mother's Day? What did you do special for those wonderful women in your life? Jump on the chat and let us know. Now, if you are jumping on that chat, remember to follow the guidelines. If you're under 13, make sure you get your parents' permission first, or even better, have them comment for you. Do not give away any personal details, and let's be kind out there on our chat. Thank you for being here with us. Look at that. Oh, I'm so I'm just all like a buzz of energy right now, Kyle. I can see you. It's so cool. It's so cool. So what have you done special for those lovely people in your life? Jump on the chat and let us know. Stay safe out there. We want to keep you guys safe on the internet. Now, Kyle's way over there. I am. I'm way, 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 way over here. Way over here. Way over here. I'm here. Lydia is even further away than Cole, so far away that I can't even see her with the binoculars. She's still up in Dargaville. She has not changed where she is, but she'll be joining us this, after this afternoon. No, she'll be joining us this morning. She's here with us today. But of course, if we're going to make all these special arrangements in the office, there is one extra special character we have to make sure we have space for, and that is Extra Bear himself. Should we see where he's up to? What he's up to? How, how are you going? Extra? Oh, he hasn't arrived. Last week he was sleeping. This week he hasn't arrived. This week. Where are you? Where are you, extra bear, mate? Oh, there you are. No, I, he's scooted. We've got stairs to come up to our space. No wonder it took him so long. Hello, extra bear. Good to see you here. You've got the dirty wheels on the couch. All right. He's here in the studio. It's awesome to have you here, extra bear. It's good. Right here. Oh. That is, oh. <laughs> that is some dance moves that were going on. Yep, you're here. You got the couch. The couch is back. We didn't we didn't get rid of the couch for you. He loves that couch. He he is always trying to nap on that couch. Party ducks here. What have you got in your backpack for him? He's got what is he? He's sitting up. Sitting up. himself set up a his helmet. <laughs> helmet. A trusty helmet. Trusty. A trusty helmet on party duck? Okay. Okay, extra beer. Alright. Oh, getting comfy. He's made himself very comfortable. <laughs> I'm jealous. It's like you never left you that comfortable extra bear back. Okay, now let's check in with the chat. Let's see what you guys got up to for Mother's Day. Here we go. Breakfast and beds. It looks like we've had a few breakfast and beds. Scrambled eggs. Oh, Kayla and Zach making the scrambled eggs. Pe Pixie making the breakfast in bed. You didn't physically make the breakfast in the bed, right? You didn't like 
just sprinkled the cereal on the mattress, pour the milk on the mattress. You you gave her the food in bed, right, Pixie? Make sure you're doing things properly. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Those are amazing special things. In fact, I probably should start taking notes. Maybe breakfast to bed is something I should start doing. Although my mum does live in a different city. Might make it a little bit hard to deliver the breakfast in bed to her. But what we're talking about today, our value this week is actually something I believe all mothers would love. In fact, I believe it's something that all mothers would love for us to do more often. And to tell us more about that, Cole has got some crazy Photoshop skills, which I think he should do. Oh, shucks. Us. Oh, shucks. <laughs> yeah, you too. You're so good at that, Cole. So right now, over to you. Okay, come join me over here. Let's go to the Photoshop right now. Have you ever been in this situation? Here's a situation. Here we go. Let me paint a picture for you. Have you ever been in a situation? This is you right here. Have you been in this situation? That you're, you know, you're out. You're out somewhere. You're out and about. You are at the beach. There we go. We won't go to the beach yet. We need to come back here. Back, 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 back. All right. So you might be out in the bush having a walk. Watch out for the tiger. Maybe you've been at the beach. Oh, look at that sand. That's beautiful golden sand. Or maybe you've just been out in the street, out in your neighborhood, and you've seen a piece of litter. Well, that's a giant piece of litter. Let's make that a little bit smaller there. I'm a piece of litter, and I'm so... Oh, look, this is the voice of the litter. Oh, I'm the... And you've seen this piece of litter, and you've been like, oh, gross. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, piece of litter. You are, ooh. Oh, you suck, piece of litter. You're just a rubbish. You're just rubbish. And someone should pick you up. And, ah, oh, that's just disgusting. But then what? You just keep walking. You keep walking up into the tree. And then you're gone. Have you ever done that? Has that ever happened to you? Okay, what about this? Have you ever been in this situation where you've been waiting? You've been waiting a long time to use something that you really want to use. You're just like, oh, I can't wait till I get to use it. And you've been waiting. And this is you here. And you've been waiting. And you're like, come on, come on. I want to use it. And then finally, everyone's gone. And you finally get to use it. And when you go to use it, you find it's broken. What? What? It's broken. Who broke it? Who broke this thing? Oh, it makes me so mad I just got to do this. And then it makes me so mad that I've got to go like over here and oh, look, I'm just just not happy about this. And you've been like, oh, someone should fix it. Someone should get this thing fixed. And so then I can use it because now I can't use it because it's broken. And then you storm off and you're like, Rah! like that. And you just hide in the corner there. Yeah. That's those situations. I have definitely been in situations like that. Where's our Where's our backpack kid here? Backpack kid is back. And yeah, I've definitely been in situations like that for sure. But now, let's rewind. Let's rewind the situation here. Are we ready for a rewind? Here we go. We're going to go. Here we go. Rewind. Rewinding. Like that. That's what rewinding sounds like, doesn't it? Rewinding. Rewinding. And get rid of that. We have rewound back to here. And so, look, the litter is still here. Here's that piece of litter again. And he's bent on world domination. He's he's going to, they're invading. Look, he's brought his friends with him. Here they are. Some friends are here. They're going, sound effects. We've gone all out on our sound effects today. There we go. This is all the litter. And then you, you know, hey. Have you ever thought, instead of just walking past it, boom, cool like this guy, and you pick it up. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe you did that. Instead of walking past, you picked it up, and you picked all these guys up, and boom, 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 they're all in your rubbish bag. All right, let's rewind back to this this situation here. We have, you are, you're hanging out. And, oh, that's right, you've got a broken thing, don't you? You've got something, and it's broken, and you can't use it. Hey, have you ever thought, what about if you fixed it? What about, let's get this get this grumpy person out of here, and we'll get Fix It Girl is in the house. Yeah, look at me with my toolbox, I'm so cool, and I got my, hat, my construction helmet on, and they're going to fix it. Have you ever thought about that? Fixing it. Here we go, put it back together, boom, it's fixed. And just for good measure, we're going to put one of these little things on here, and then look, what? That is so cool. And then what happens when you fix it? Then you can use it. Boing, 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 boing. And have fun. That is so cool. Yeah, so, so, if you did choose to be like this person here, 
Or, you know, like, where are they? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You get the, there you go. Or this person here, then what you would be doing, you would be showing initiative. Let's get this initiative in. Initiative! That's what you would be showing. An initiative is not waiting. It means waiting. You're not going to wait for others to do something. You are going to do it yourself before others do it. That is called initiative. So when we show initiative, we don't wait for others. Here we go. Let's get this wait. No, we're not going to wait. Where's our sign? No waiting. We're not going to wait anymore. We're not going to wait for others to do it. When you show initiative, you don't wait for others to do it. You go and do it yourself. So that is what initiative is. And initiative, hey, is, here we go. What do we got? We got this one here. Initiative is the power, woo, to take action. Da, 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 da. Look at these guys. They've got so much. They're cool. Their yeah, initiative is the power to take action before others do. And that is a pretty sweet power to have. Initiative. Initiative That's it. is. That's initiative. That's initiative? That is initiative. And that is a pretty sweet power to have. And Cole, I think you have a little secret superpower yourself, actually, a little power yourself. I think you. I can read minds, can I? No, I think you're, you're like speedy Photoshop guy. I don't know how many crimes you can solve by being speedy Photoshop guy. I'm the flash of Photoshop. You're or the, the flash silver. of Photoshop. You're so amazing at those stories. I've often thought about having a power and I've often thought I would love super strength. There's something about me that loves this idea of being able to change a car tire by just picking up the car, holding it in one arm like that, and then just going... <laughs> I'd also be giant in this scenario. But I want you guys to know, I want to have super strength. I think Kyle's already got a superpower. I think he has that speedy Photoshop, the flash of Photoshop. Photoshop, man! Da, 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 da. But how about you guys comment in and let us know what superpower you would want to have. Have a go on the chat. Have a, let us know what superpower you would have, would love to have. Now, we all have a power though. We have this power of initiative. And as Kyle said, it's, it's when we don't wait for someone else to do something. It's when we leap in and take action and to do something. And that is something that I believe all mums out there on Mother's Day would love if we would have. And this is a value that would so suit them. Now, I think someone else has a little something to say about this and a little something to say about the power side of it. She's coming all the way from Dargaville. Lydia has got our catchphrase for us this week. So why don't you do what you have to do to get ready for the catchphrase? Get up, get ready. Get, get up, get ready. Oh, there, there's my awkward stretching. There we go. Stretching. Stretching. Oh, we're getting oh. to our feet. Onto, onto the feet. Oh, I can't stretch that far. But Lindsay, how about you? Um... Show us what our catchphrase is. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be a superhero? Saving the day, have the superpowers. How cool would that be? Oh, wow. Are you a superhero? I sure am a superhero. Can I help you? Wow. You know when we're in a situation where something just needs to be done? Well, that's when it's a great time to actually use our initiative. Wait, what is initiative? Initiative is the power to take action before others do. When we have initiative, we don't wait for someone else to do something. Instead, we are, we are, we are the ones who just leap into action and just do whatever needs to be done. Like all superheroes, we need to look for opportunities to use our power. If we keep our eyes open and are observant to what's going on around us, then we'll see the little things that can make a big difference in our world. When we can see the things that need doing, we can activate that power of initiative and we can do the things that need doing. So our catchphrase this week is see the thing, do the thing. Okay, so we're going to put some actions to it. We're going to go like this. See the thing, do the thing. Okay, so this is do in New Zealand sign language, but the rest is just some cool stuff. Here we go, let's do it together. See the thing, do the thing. And again, see the thing, do the thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You could wait for others to be the solutions to the problems in the world, but you don't have to wait for others because you can see the thing, do the thing. Straight away. So often people can think to themselves, Wow, someone really needs to do something about that. 
But what if that someone was you? What if that someone was me? What if it was us? Seeing things, using our initiative, and going and doing something about it. See the thing, do the thing, reminds me that there are so many ways to show our initiative. There are so many ways to take action when needed. Ah! All right, here we go. So, I think, Cole, the whole time we've been in our homes, you've had some difficult actions for this cat, for the catchphrase, and oh, now no. it's back. Who makes these up? <laughs> Who does make these up? They like to test it. This one seems easy, but as I was doing it during the video, I keep getting the timing off. Let me have a practice with this. Here we go. You can see, do it, Stu. See the thing, do the thing. Oh, what about you, Kong? I you're... think you've got. I think you've got it. You're getting a little sneak peek here, but Ooh. what's coming up next? But anyway, okay, here we go. What is it? It goes. See the thing. Do the thing. Look, the one week, the one week, the, I got it. I got it. There. See the thing. Do the thing. I threw in, I threw in an extra action there. But there we go. I, I think that's it. I think you got it. Now, that's two of us, but there's three of us right now hanging out here. And I think one of them is our catchphrase action expert, and there that is. is Extra Bear. How about you move. show us what you think, you how it goes, Extra Bear. Show us what you've got. Still, Ex Ex Extra Bear, come on, mate. Up again. He's still, he's still chilling out. <laughs> he's so relaxed to be back. Here we okay, go. He's ready. He's ready. All right, show us what you've got, Extra Bear. The thing. Do, do the, the thing. thing. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> oh, dancing. Dancing. You're so excited you got it right. Hey, you normally turn it up a level. Oh, yep, you got it. Everyone up. Right. Everyone up. Get, join in. Oh, point. See the thing. Do the, the thing. thing. Oh, oh, thank you, XP. So encouraging, mate. Thank you for that. Cheering us on, clapping away. Very nice. All right, what are you going to do? Couch dive. Woo! Woo! Couch, couch dive from Extra Bear. Great job. All I'm right. seriously jealous of his couch. He, he, he loves that couch. He... It's been a long time since he's been able to jump on that couch, and I think he's making the most of it by jumping on it every opportunity he got. Now in the chat, I asked you guys, what superpowers would you love to have? Let's have a look what we've got here. Kayla and Zach would love to fly. I think that would be pretty cool. Oh. That would, especially yeah, at the moment, you can, not much flying going on, so you could just be the only one flying it. Yeah. Um, Lucretia, love to be able to walk on water. I, I love to fish. I think that would be handy for fishing, because you'd be like, oh, I'm not catching anything in this spot. Move over here. There we go. Find your new spot. What else have we got? Hi. Shapeshifting. And I, was, I saw that come up in the chat and I thought, shapeshifting, that isn't actually an amazing one with what we're talking about initially. Because if you're hanging out with a mate and they're like, oh man, we need a table to put all these this food and drinks on, you could be like, bang, I'm a table now. I'm a table. And you could actually show initiative in that. So I think that's amazing. Now, we got a little sneak peek just before when we passed. You did. Us. Yeah. You came, to, you, you did. You did. Sneak we, peek. we got a sneak peek. Now, Kyle, I believe you've got a little something something for us. How about you um, show us what you've got right now? All right, hey guys. So today, what I've got is a really cool activity for you to do with your friends, family, whoever you're with, whoever you're hanging out with. And um, it's, a, it's a really cool thing that you can do. But I'm going to show you how to make it. But the catch is, here it is here. This is it. I'm going to show you how to make one of these things. Look how cool that is. It's like, Whoa. But I am going, the catch is that I'm going to show you how to make this, but I've only got three minutes to do it. Okay, three minutes is the time frame. Before I get started, we're going to make one of these. Boop, boop, boop. You can do two things. What you're going to need is some popsicle sticks. You're going to need five of them. They don't have to be big like this. I'm lucky, fortunate, I get big ones. You need some glue. You need some hot glue. You need glue stick. You need to get some kind of round things like this, like a, like sellotape. I've used sellotape rolls there. Um, oh, and you need some drawing pins, you need four drawing pins, and you need some rubber bands. Okay, so I've got three minutes scissors, and maybe a board or something will help you out. So I've got three minutes to do it. Are you ready? We're going to count it down. I'm going to show you how to make one of these things in three minutes. Three, two, one, let's go. Countdown on. There it goes. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is you want to get your two popsicle sticks like this. And I'm going to try and come up close to the camera a bit, and you need to put... A popsicle stick through there. Now, to do to be safe, find a surface that you can put into, put a drawing pin into like that, and then be careful not to poke yourself in the finger with the pin. Okay, now this is where this glue comes in like that, and then we cut a little bit of the glue stick off. And look at this. So we've got a little scissory thing, and then this is going to be a little safety notch there. 
Awesome, cool. Okay, I've got the first deck. That's gonna cost me time. All right, so I'm gonna cut a few more of these while they go. Please don't roll off the table. Please don't roll off the table. Okay, there we go, we've got three more. All right, now what you need to do is you need to make another one. You could pick any kind of drawing pin, um, the colors that you want. I've got some blue and orange going on here, and you make another little scissory thing right there. Okay, so now the next step is you're gonna make another scissory extender Thing there so what you need to do is you put your drawing pin in be careful of your fingers oh no we've dropped the pin it's gone it's back okay we've got to put the pin what's my time like i'm I, i've already used up a minute ah get in there go 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 okay we've got we've got to put the pin and put try not to break your sticks when you're doing it all right we're almost there we've almost got our extender done and we've got one more pin coming going in there okay and pin through there okay remember don't forget to put your little safety things on there so it's nice and safe good and so you don't hurt yourself with the pins and we need to put another one on each end there can you see that and we have our extender all right i'm almost down to a minute left to go so like with your like your last stick the fifth stick you need to cut it in half and ah uh, all right and then you need to get some hot glue put the hot glue on put the hot glue on here oh no this hot glue is not helping me out you put some hot glue on and you make a little one like that. Okay, and then oh, we're down to 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Come on, come on. And then we need to speed this up. All right, there we go. That's that there. All right, with these, you put some hot glue on there. Come on, hot glue. Please work for me. Come on, hot glue. Okay, and we're going to hot glue that on the end of there as well. I only have three minutes. You will have longer to do this, but I'm just saying you could do this in three minutes. Hopefully, 30 seconds left. 30 seconds Okay, 30 seconds. I'm going to put that there. Okay, and then you take the your rubber bands. I've got 30 seconds to put rubber bands on. Come on, come on. Okay, one rubber band, one rubber band on there. And then this is to kind of grip and help it grip and stay on there. 16 seconds. Okay, come on. Let's go. And let's see if I can get the orange rubber bands on there as well. 10 seconds. No, I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Come on. Oh, oh, go. Okay, three seconds. Three, two, one. One, no, I'm done. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Three minutes to make this here. Here we go. Now, what's awesome about this is that, hey, when that litter, when you see that rubbish, when you see rubbish and litter on the ground, oh, you don't want to touch it with your hands. Oh, gross. That's why you don't pick up litter because it's gross. But you've got this that you made and you can go and pick that up and you can put it in your bin. Oh, that smelly, stinky sock. There we go. Pick that up and you can put that in your bin and another piece of rubbish in the bin like that. There you go. So no excuses. Hey, if you see the thing, do the thing. Um, the great reminder to use your initiative when you see something that needs to be done go and do it because you have the power Especially with this to do things before others do it So awesome there you go You can do all sorts of different styles and things like that and make it up You can make them really big and long But that's a really cool thing for picking up and see what else you can pick up All right guys, so you have the power to do the thing before others. There we go Go and have fun I'm going to put it back to Stu. Oh, I think there I did it myself. I did it well. I'm trying to use the technology as well as Kyle. Man, that is, um, I'm kind of trying to get my, my breath back a little bit. My heart was in my mouth sort of thing as it got so close to that time of finishing. That is so awesome though. Looking at that, I think that would be an amazing Mother's Day gift. But hold on a second. You're not going to give one of those to your mum. No, you're going to use it. See, this is another get type of gift you can do. This is an active server gift service gift where you can make one of those go ahead make one of those and then you can go around the house and start picking up all sorts of things to keep the house tidy that is an awesome way to show those people in your life that you really care about them that you love them now have a look at the chat pixie's going to go make one of those today that is awesome that you're going to have a little go at one of those that's how exciting you can make that once you finish don't don't leave us now pixie just make sure you stick around and i did read earlier Thank you for not pouring milk and cereal into your mother's bed. We do appreciate that. That is not the way to make breakfast in bed. Just catching up on that comment from earlier. But while you guys are on the chat, while we're looking at the chat, I want you guys to start thinking. And I've got a question. What are some of those things you've noticed that probably you've seen? You've seen the thing. Let me get my words right. You've seen the thing. You've noticed something around the house, something around the place that probably needs doing, but you haven't quite got to that second half and you haven't 
done the thing. You haven't been doing the thing. So what are some of those things that you might start seeing and doing now? Jump in the chat and start thinking of some ideas that you can start putting into practice yourself. Now, while you do that, I also saw in the chat, I've been keeping my eye on the chat, I saw someone loved it during the Photoshop story, during that story Kyle showed with Photoshop, someone said, I would love to go for a walk in the bush. And you know what? I thought, you know what? Do you know who else loves to go for walks in the bush? Lydia loves to go for walks in the bush. So, let's check in and see what Lydia's up to all the way up north. Let's see what she's doing. Lydia, what are you up to right now? Hey everyone, Lydia here. And today I am challenging myself to find my way home. Wearing a blindfold, so I'm not gonna be able to see. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting. It's probably gonna be a little bit scary for me. I'm gonna get someone to drop me off somewhere in the bush, on the farm, and I've gotta find my way home. But because I've grown up here, I think it might be quite easy because I know the place, like I know everything, right? Um, so we'll see what happens, let's stay tuned, and ah! Yep, blindfold me. Nice and tight. Yep, tight, tighter. Good. Yep, that's good, I can't see. Let's go. Put your hat on. So let's have a look out the window. Oh, bumpy. Oh, I'm leaning forward. We must be going down a hill. Ah, thank you. Bye. Don't hit me. Um, right. First things first, I'm going to call out to my mum and my sister at home and see, see if they can hear me. And then if they reply, I'll just follow the voices. Mom! Esther! Maybe I need to call it in code or something. Okay, next thing I'm going to try is... Oh, man. Oh, I've hit water. I don't know where I am. Just for your information, this swamp stinks. Next thing I'm going to try is, I know there is um, a big tree next to the house. So I'm going to find a big tree and hopefully that's going to be it. A little bit of blood so far. I just ran into a stump. So this attempt, I'm going to run it straight. I'm going to do rugby styles because I figure if I just run, I'm going to hit something. Hopefully it will be my house. Here we go. Oh, there's a change in the level of ground there. Ah! Tree, 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 tree. I must be close, I must be close. House must be here. House. Oh. All right. That way is not a viable option. I figured also there's cows around somewhere and I think they're in the paddock next to the house. So if I can like somehow communicate to the cows, then like I might be able to find the house. So, um, oh! and it is raining. Um, that means find shelter. Where's the, where's the shelter? Oh, going to, ah! Drink, shelter me. Shelter me. I'm hoping it will just blow over so I can continue my quest to finding my home. But I'm not giving up because it is a challenge and I don't like to lose a challenge. My next idea to help me get home, I figure if I leave a trail, then I'll know where I've gone. So I'm gonna find some, um, some like stones or something on the ground or, or, or cow poo. <laughs> Gross! This has turned into more of an adventure than I thought it would. How long have I been out here for? Where's my watch? Hold on. Oh, wait, I still can't see. <laughs> I am sure that it's around here. Oh. Oh. What? Wait, wait! Am I? I'm on home! I'm home! This is iron! Hello? 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 Oh, I've lost it. I feel like I'm still in the bush! Hello? Ow! put that dirt there okay well it's obviously not the house if no one's answering I, I, I don't know where I am but um I figure I've I've came down a hill to get here so I'm just gonna start rolling on the ground because I figure I won't be able to roll up a hill so when I stop rolling I must be at the bottom of the hill and then I start the hill and then I'm the home oh the grass is wet okay I didn't think this through <laughs> do you smell that I think I just rolled in poo. Rolling is too much effort, too much work. I can't figure this out. I just, I have no idea where I am right now. I feel like I haven't moved very far, potentially. Who thought this was gonna be easy, Lydia? Backwards walking, backwards, backwards. <laughs> hey buddy, how's it going? Either I've had a tree 
or a branch or I've got a, I'm stuck on a fence. It's a fence and it's not on. It's my lucky day. Jeez. Okay. Wowzers. Okay. So I seriously thought that this wasn't going to be a hard challenge, but look where I am. <laughs> I'm not even at my house yet. I, I haven't made it back. Hold on. I can take my blindfold off. I haven't completed the challenge, but that's okay. And it just goes to show that when you can't see the thing, you can't do the thing, right? And it's just like using our superpower of initiative. When we see something, we need to go and do it, right? Before other people do it. We go and do it ourselves. Because when we can see something, we can do something. I think I see my house. I see my house. I see my house. I'm home. What a tough challenge you had to master on that one. Hey, let me check it. Stu. Yeah. This, this way. Yeah. Face forward. I am facing forward. Every way I face is forward. Listen to me. Follow my voice. Follow your Follow the voice. Where? Hold on. Hold on. There is she. Hold on. How about I just do this? How about I just. There we go. How about I just oh, that, see? Yeah, that's a better idea. There, that's way better. Now, I can tell you from just putting a blindfold on for 30 seconds that. Not being able to see can be pretty tough, and one thing we will not recommend is do not get yourself lost in the bush with a blindfold. Be safe out there. Lydia went through a bit of damage um, on that one, so make sure you guys stay safe. Make sure you don't follow the example of getting yourself lost in the bush blindfolded. But I do want to check in with the chat. I do want to see what is happening. What are some of those ideas of things you guys are going to start doing? Tidying the room. Yeah, that's something that I know I need to do more of myself. One half of my room looks absolutely clean all the time. The other half of my bedroom does not look clean all the time. And I know which half that is. Now, some of the other ones, high says doing the dishes, simple little things like that. Those are amazing little things. And Zach and Kayla tidying the bathroom like you guys did yesterday. Good job. Nice work on that. And a couple little comments I see that have joined us as well saying, um, that was so brave, Lydia. That was pretty brave of you. And yes, it was crazy. It was crazy out there. Now, every week on Blalo Sundays, we like to hear, find out what God has to say about using our value, what God has to say about initiative. And we get a guest speaker in to do that. And today is no different. Coming all the way from down Wellington Ways at Karori Baptist Church, it is going to be Pat Thompson sharing with us today. Pat, what do you have to say about this? Hi everyone, it is so good to be here and so good to see you. Today we're gonna to be talking about all those little jobs around the house that we hate to do. And quite honestly, we actually just want someone else to do them for us. We wanna sit and watch TV or read a book or go outside and play. Instead, we're gonna do all these jobs, which is awful. Jobs like doing the dishes. Ugh, I hate doing that. Or things like picking up our clothes. We've just put them on the floor and now we're going to pick them up and put them away. Or even worse, cleaning up the house on a Saturday morning. I hate doing that the most. There's a beautiful verse in the Bible where Jesus speaks in Matthew 7 verse 12. And in the message version, it goes like this. It says, this is a great rule of thumb for behavior. That when you want someone else to do something for you, grab the initiative and do it for them. Can you imagine how wonderful that would be if we all grabbed the initiative and did things for others that we wanted them to do for us? So when you finish eating, you could grab everyone's plate and go and help with the dishes. Or if you are picking up your things, you could put them away and grab your brothers too. So many things that we could do for others. Can you imagine? So often, we don't want to do these things and we just go, oh, I hope they get help or we'll pray for them. But imagine if we did this ourselves and we grabbed the initiative and helped everyone. So whatever you want someone to do for you, you could do it for yourself. I hope you have a great day. Go and grab the initiative. Bye. See you, Pat. Hey, there was some really helpful advice in there. There was some great advice in there. And it goes to show that we, often we see things that we want others to do and we kind of just wait and 
hopefully someone else will do that. But when we go ahead and we do that thing, we're actually using that power of initiative. We're creating an environment where um, full of people who look out for ways to leap into action and do things first. And I think that is an awesome environment we want to be creating. Now, when we learn things like we've been learning today, it's actually really important for us to think of ways to stop and to slow down for a moment and to think of ways in which we can put this into action. Not just see it, but put in action. So let's, let's just stop for a moment and have a, have a good think about what we could do. Hey guys, it's Stu's Mind here. So I've been thinking that initiative is the power to take action before others do. It means being on the lookout for opportunities to leap in and do stuff. You know, see the thing, do the thing. We can be part of the solution to problems or issues we see around us. We don't have to wait for someone to jump in and do the mahi. We can be that someone. We can think for ourselves and take action when needed. So with that in mind, <laughs> what does that look like? So let's put this into practice. See the thing? There's a whole bunch of rubbish left lying on the ground. Do the thing. Pick it up. Okay, 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 okay. See that, see that? We've got that one. What about, see the thing? Something of yours is broken. Do the thing. Fix it. See the thing? Ooh, that's nasty. Do the thing. Fresh. See the thing? Do the thing. <laughs> Did you guys notice the pattern? That when something needed doing, we could be the solution by doing it. So let's be on the lookout for opportunities where we can activate our initiative. You could even say initiate your initiative. Huh? Okay. To think for ourselves and to show others we can take action when necessary. Stu! 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 Wake up! What happened? Oh, do you know what? I've had some... You zoned out there. Did I... Did I completely zone out? <laughs> you know what, but the funny thing is, I was thinking this whole time and I've got some really great ideas that I'd love to tell you, but I'm just... I'm looking at our, our countdown timer and I, I don't think I actually have time to tell you guys those ideas, so I might have to um, jump on later and, and tell you some ideas because I don't think anyone's ever thought of them, heard of them before. Now, what about you guys watching at home? Earlier I asked, what are some of those things that you've been seeing but not doing? So what is one thing this week where you're going to see and then do? I want you guys to comment in that chat. Let us know what is going to be the thing that you're going to be using your initiative this for this week. Ha unlock that power of initiative. Now, it's been great, so great having you with us. It's been so great being back in our studio. Um, so good. So good. It's so good to have Kyle. It's so good to be able to oh, talk to Kyle again, it. actually. Hey, Stu. Hey, Kyle. It's good, so good to see you face to face. What are you up to over there? I think, are you playing with your little chip? I'm, I'm, still, I'm still picking up things. I'm You're still, still picking up. using my initiative. Look at all this initiative that's going on here. There's that. so much imagination. Do you know what? There's this, another way you guys can use in your initiative this week. If you want to check out our website during the week and you can see the videos that we upload, that would be awesome. The other way you can show your initiative is to go out and tell your friends about us. Let them know that there's all this cool content coming online and if you spot someone that's not your friend, maybe you could tell them anyway. Just keep telling people about watching us and checking us out. You know what? You can click the links below to find out more info. Let's have a look at the chat. What are some of those things? 
You're going to use the, yep, use the grabber to pick some That's up. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. Make it grab it. Pick things up. Yeah, that was um, a, yeah, that wasn't poo in the video. That was me. That was actually some beautiful um, that that was some beautiful flower put on there. Um, there's a great idea. What else have we got? Not a lot. We're gonna. What are some of those things? I want you guys to start thinking about those things. Maybe you can't tell us on the chat, but maybe you can go out there and do it because that is what we have been talking about this week. So remember, leap into action. See the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. All right, let me pray to finish up. Here we go. Hey God, I just want to thank you, first of all, for all those amazing women out there that um, are playing the role of mums or taking care of people. And I ask that you just give them an extra special blessing today. Let them feel encouraged and let them feel loved um, in all the amazing, awesome things that they do. And, and I also want to ask that you help us to start seeing things that need doing and help us to activate that power of initiative and to go out there and to do the thing. Amen. 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 That's us. Good to see you, Carl. Good to see you in person. You too. You too, Stu. All right. Oh, it was good. I can't see you in see person. See you later, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say bye, and then I'm going to fire back to Stu. But see you later, guys. Happy Mother's Day again to my mum, to all the mums, to all the mums that we think are mums that are mums to us, but they might not be necessarily our mums, but they act like mums. Happy Mother's Day. Have an awesome week. Awesome hanging out with you guys and being back in the studio. I could not have said that thank you to the mums out there better myself, Cole. You, you nailed that. Now, oh, good. one of the things that doesn't change just because we are back in our studio is making sure that we finish with Extra Beer. So, hey, Extra Beer, um, why don't you say goodbye to all of those? We're leaving it to you, Extra Beer. Out to you, Extra Beer.